what followed was an engineering war against nature. The terrain was brutal, steep cliffs, landslide zones, loose laterite soil, and more than 1,500 water bodies. 92 tunnels, including the 6.5 km Carbwood Tunnel, India's longest at the time. Two 000 plus bridges, including the Pandalnadi Viaduct, 65 meters high and over 400 meters long. Constant landslides, flash floods, and monsoon fury that would stall work for weeks. In places where machines failed, human grit prevailed. In areas where no vehicles could reach, materials were airlifted by helicopters. Thousands of workers camped in jungle outposts, working 24 7, often in treacherous conditions. Over 15,000 people worked on the project engineers, masons, welders, and laborers from across India. They faced poisonous snakes, wild animals, disease, and even death. More than 70 workers lost their lives building the Konkan Railway. Entire villages sprung up around construction sites. Markets, schools, and medical camps followed. The railway didn't just connect regions, it created communities. In January 1998, after just eight years, far ahead of India's usual project timelines, the Konkan Railway was finally complete. The inaugural train ran from Mangalore to Mumbai, reducing travel time to just 16 hours. The journey became legendary overnight, passing through coconut groves, waterfalls, sea-facing cliffs, and deep green jungles. Tourists, locals, traders, everyone wanted a seat on the Konkan Marvel. The impact was profound. What was once considered backward became a hub of opportunity. Tourism exploded in Goa, coastal Maharashtra, and Udupi. Mango, cashew, and seafood trade flourished due to faster transport. Healthcare and education access improved for remote villages. Towns like Ratnagiri, Chaplun, and Karvar were placed on the national map. The Konkan Railway wasn't just a line on the map it was a lifeline that redefined the destiny of a region.